is Texans Talk with Texans. The unofficial official Texans pregame show. With NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Joe Cool the Greaser. And also NFL Pro Bowler wannabe Nick Rogers. And now it's Texans Talk with Texans. And now here are your hosts Joe Cool the Greaser and Nick Rogers. What's up? What's up, y'all? How you doing? Doing good, man. How you doing? Pretty good. You feeling good, man? How'd you really sick? Yeah, yeah. I've been sick for uh, for, uh, for a while. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, recovering, trying to fight back. I was going to call in and, and you know say, hey, I can't uh, do the show. What? Yeah. I think we have a clip right here. OK. <laughs> I feel better now, right? Yeah, I feel better, and uh, nobody wanted to fill in for me, and uh, I called many, many others, and uh, well, you know, people have lives, they have, you know, jobs. Yeah, you know, that's, they got things to do. Yeah, but, but that's okay, because I don't want, I don't want any, any of them to take your place. You're the original. That's it. The original. Yeah. J O E. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. All right. Um, what is it? We were talking about the Texans. Did you didn't watch the game? Yeah, apparently I, I was. I had to work that day. Um, I don't know. I was sick all week. I can I can watch nothing. Uh, so I wasn't gifted like you folks out there and this guy, where y'all had the day off. Uh, hey. Get to you know what enjoy I, with your family. What praise, can we do? And praise the <laughs> Lord, you know. <laughs> and because uh, I know this guy goes to church every day. Oh, uh, come on. He burns up before he enters the door. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, so what what's what's going on with the Texans? Did they beat the yeah. only Jaguars? They did. They did. But the first half, um, it looked sluggish. And Ryan, Ryan Fitzpatrick and company looked terrible in the, in the first half. As a matter of fact, uh, he went, he, he went uh, 8 out of 10 for 100 yards over the last two quarters. And also, not just that, the defense too was terrible too. I mean, you couldn't get to break to Blake Bortles at all, at all. Period. And last but not least, uh, Andre Johnson got hit real bad, so he ended up with, with a uh, concussion. So, when he got hit? Oh, really? I didn't. Yeah. Uh, one of uh, one of the uh, Jaguar players. No, but when did he get hit? Like first quarter, or second. Uh, I believe it was in the second quarter. I think. Second quarter. So yeah. he got knocked out of the game then. Mm-hmm. He didn't return after that. Yeah. Well, concussion. I will mean, mm-hmm. do it to you. made adjustments at the half, and uh, as a matter of fact, the defense also uh, stepped up too. Um, JJ Watt. Pretty much uh, got to him, and so did uh, so did uh, Bruce Reed, three times. They sacked him three times. Who? Uh, Blake, Blake uh, Bortles. Blake Bortles. Yeah. Mhm. Pretty good quarterback, right? What is that? Oh, uh, hey, your phone. It's going dead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> it's going dead like his career. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt. Aaron Foster. Um, had 12, 24 carries for 127 uh, yard rushing yards, and uh, not just that, the defense, like I said, stepped up, did their part. JJ Watt, once again, what did I say, folks? 100 million ways that uh, Bob McNair signed him. Yeah, him and Bruce Reed did a a tremendous job, and uh, they, and they won the game. That the record is seven to six. Every single game is a must win from here on out. It should be a must win. They could lose one more, but if they lose that one, then they have, it, it more than likely they're going to have to depend on some help. Yeah, and, that's uh, going to suck. So, who do we got next? The Colts? Yeah, we got Colts, by the way. Our division rivals? Yep. And, uh, well, well, what What do you think? We're going to beat them? I said just do it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah, I have a good feeling, but you know what? I have I have a good feeling that they'll beat them, but something in me says no, they're not gonna beat them. 
All right. Yeah. But um, be, because they've many times they they've never beat Indianapolis no, uh -huh. in Indianapolis. Okay. Uh huh. And I guess this is one of the chance times that they should try to beat them <laughs> in yeah. Indianapolis. Uh huh. I mean, if they do this, this will this will it, it shoot them like like. Yeah. I mean, it was it was shot airwaves in Houston, folks. You, you can't, uh, you know, you can't look past the other ones, Baltimore, and I don't know who the other teams are to play after that. Jacksonville again, right? Yeah. Uh huh. So you can't look past them, but no, you, you right. still have you still have to focus on this game. It, we gotta try to win this damn game. Yeah, it only takes just one game at a time. One game at a time. That's all. And uh, so, what, what do we got next? Uh, we, oh, we got some callers, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, this next segment uh, this is where the caller call in. And uh, okay, our first caller, go ahead, caller. Hello. Well, nothing. Oh, just it. So, what else? Um. Oh yeah, the five keys. Five keys. Yeah. I five. thought you were gonna call someone. Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I guess nobody's calling in, so. Uh. No, come on, man. You gotta be positive, dude. Be positive. <laughs> right. Nobody's calling in, so. Yeah, you know what? Forget those callers. Forget them. Uh, I got my five keys. Five keys for success for tomorrow's victory. Yo, folks, you, <clears throat> folks, you wanna hear them? Do you wanna hear them? Yeah, go ahead and make them short. All right. For number one, Fitzpatrick and company got to give Arian Foster the ball at at times, no matter what. Well, no, I can't say that. Not just give him the ball, but also spread the ball around, share the ball too. Give it to the receivers, whoever's open, throw the ball, all right? Number two, use the clock as your friend. Because if you do that, that means you're keeping the Colts off the field as much as possible. It makes it unbalanced for them. All right. <laughs> Number three, three is basically defense steps up. And again, JJ Watt, Brian Cushing. Hey, I got the number fifty-six and company got to get to get to the quarterback, rush him, make him make him throw bad plays. And force a fumble, interception, if necessary. Uh, number four, four would be um, Bill O'Brien and his coaching staff. Got to make a special play. No, got to make got to make better play calling. Number five, last but not least, folks, just win and keep the playoff hopes alive. And my five keys can get back to you. I mean, um, those, those sound like some good keys, and uh, you know what? I think we have a caller. Um, for, uh, <laughs> wow, another one? Yeah, hold on. Caller, go ahead. Um, hello, um, yeah, what's your name? Um, I, I really don't care to, uh, to disclose my name. Um, you know, I'm kind of a Texas hater. Uh, this he's guy, a hater, man. <laughs> what's up with that? Um, I'm here to root on the, the, the Colts and um, you know, I hope they bury your sorry Texans ass. Uh, all right, man. Come yeah, on. Hang, hang this guy up, man. Hang him up. Anyways, next caller, go ahead. There's a storm coming. Huh? Another one? Who, 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 who is this guy? Who is he? There's a storm coming and y'all better ban down the hatches. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Who are you, caller? I guess he hung up. <laughs> There's um, a star coming. All right. Man <laughs> down the hatch. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. He has some odd callers. He had a theme song too. That was weird, wasn't it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it does something. That is crazy, man. It's crazy. It's too many. <laughs> Anyways. Um, well, do we have another caller? No, you know what? That's it. That's it. That's it for the callers, man. Oh no, no. You know what? I think there is one. Yeah. There is. Yeah. Caller. No, that's it. That's it. All right. 
It's funny Ultimate Peter didn't call in today, huh? Yeah. He says he's good luck when the Texans call. Well, well, where are you at now? Yeah, Ultimate man, Peter? where are you? Where are you? We're coming for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, maybe he's at home getting drunk or something. I don't know. Whichever, kid, maybe. <laughs> Typical. Okay, he might call the last uh, game of the season when they play the, the Jags, right? Well, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think that concludes our show, right? Yeah, that's it. Anyways, uh, we'll see y'all next week. And uh, what else? Mm, we'll see you next week. And just hit that W. And just get that slushies on Tuesday, folks. On Tuesday, not Wednesday. I'm Nick C. Rogers. And I'm Joe Cozo Greasy. And we'll catch you next Later. right here. Same time, same channel. <laughs> All right, later, y'all. Later. All right. See you next time. No, we already did the ending. Well, oh, going on. Um, <laughs> um, what else? Anyways, uh, well, it looks like the roles are reversed. You, you have your stack of papers, and I have a stack of nothing. What's up with that, man? Don't well, you... I haven't, I, I'm not prepared. I'm, I'm here just to. I'm like, basically, I'm like the fans, but I'm in the seat, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. I got a front row seat yeah. to the Nick show, basically. <laughs> Nah, it's not just my show, it's your show. It's our show. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine um, a show without me and it's just a Nick show? Let, let's just just try to imagine that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, dude, we got a lot of things just, just because you got the camera, man. Dude, we got the social media in our heads, dude. <laughs> we're building it. We're building it. We're growing in numbers. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. No, we'll work, folks. You know that. <laughs>